Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do sort of a get ready with me video and an everyday makeup tutorial for beginners. So um, I'm going to use a minimal amount of product but affordable ones so that people like me who can't afford the you know high-end makeup brands can go out and achieve the looks that they want to on a day-to-day -day basis. Stay tuned. So this is my bare face, the canvas that we have to work with here. Um, I just wanted you all to see my bare face so that way you'll be able to follow, you know, step by step and to see like how I look. This is a get ready with me video, right? So I have nothing on my oily face. My skin is extremely oily. Let me start off by saying that. But at night when I finish cleansing my face, I do put vitamin E oil on it only because it has lemon in it. And that way it can um, just even my skin tone and try to help the blemishes that I have because I have a few but um, it's moderately gotten better um, over the years as far as and my breakouts have gotten a lot better like I really don't have any breakouts on my face except for those few here but we're not gonna talk about it but yeah so let's get started first off I'm going to prime my face because, like I said, I have to battle this oil that's coming through my skin. In my Ipsy bag, I received um, this little sample of Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And it's amazing. It feels amazing when it's going on your skin. And I love it. I love it so much. And you can probably find these little samples at Ulta or Sephora for like close to nothing and it does not take a lot okay so you can probably already see the difference in my face right now <laughs> so now that I prime my face I'm gonna start off by doing my brows and I use this wet and wild color icon dark brown pencil now I went out and I bought NYX's little brow wiz pencil micro brow pencil I don't know if, it, if it's my skin too oily or if it's just I don't know but those little micro pencils they don't work the Anastasia Anastasia that one kind of worked so I guess you can be paid for it but at the same time like their brow did, it didn't work on my face I don't know I don't know is it my skin is something wrong I don't know so maybe I'll figure it out later so I'll take this and I really need to sharpen it I need to sharpen it but we're gonna make do with what we have so I'm gonna my brows are somewhat arched I try to keep them arched because I don't go get them done I'm too cheap but I just um, underline the brow bone area first with very small strokes and then I go on top and I create a little tail and where my arch is on my brow because you would see here like that's where my arch would be if I had brows and some people always say like where the black of your iris is um I think that's right maybe that's not right no I'm not even about to tell y'all that anywho this Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Feel. It's a brow tint. Now I've never even dreamt about this, like, but it just came in my Ipsy bag, so I was like, I'll make do with it. But I usually don't do this, but I'll take this and I'll just uh, place it. Cause at times I feel like it's not even the same color as my pencil is. And I just I start at the beginning and I distribute it throughout my brows. So those are my brows. These look I guess kind of natural but I like clean brows <laughs> then I'll go in with this eyeliner brush and I got this actually at Dollar General so I don't know the name brand of it but I know um, elf elf eyes lips face they make these but this one was like a dollar so I was like broke college student let's go we'll make it do what it do so now I'm going to apply LA girl and it's a concealer I got it at the beauty supply store at my local beauty supply store for I think it was two dollars 
Um, it's no more than three. It just depends on where you live. Because sometimes they do try to charge $2.99 for it. So I just put a little bit. Slowly go underneath. Shaping out my arch. They always say, don't clean your arch from the top. Now I do know this for a fact. <laughs> don't clean your arch from the top. Clean it from the bottom. So if you want it more archy, then it go up a little higher from the bottom. But don't do it from the top because you can destroy your brows. Okay, and usually before people have said to just take this and pull down to blend if you don't have a blending brush. Luckily, I got this brush set as a gift from BH Cosmetics. It's the Sculpt and Blend set. I use this little blending brush. It's the 129 from that set. And I just go underneath. I raise my brows and then I just go here and blend. That way I don't have to run into my brow and destroy it. Because I've done that way too many times. Alright, now on with foundation. So I've already primed my face like I did primarily. What I use on my face is some Maybelline Fit Me. Yes, matte and poreless because I need it matte and poreless because my pores are just exuding with oil. Oil, oil, oil. So I'll take a little. And this is a BH Cosmetics brush as well. Blot. And it does look a little orange, but that's fine. So there. <laughs> that's how it looks. Try not to put so much because it can come off as orange for women, my complexion. And I could really go out of the house looking like this. Like, it's just natural, like. But I like to add a little pizzazz. You know what I'm saying? Just a little. So here's a card that everyone is probably waiting for. The contour and highlight. My favorite. With this, I like to be more hands-on. I really apply my concealer with my hand and you know, um, versus a brush because I just like getting into the like the creases that they're supposed to go into. What I highlight with is the same concealer that I put on my brows, which is the shade Toffee of the LA Girl Pro Conceal. So I start off under my eyes as a triangle tribe and down my nose. Don't get it twisted, I love my nose. As you probably could see after I put on my um, foundation, I have a natural, like a slightly natural contour. I just try to keep it just as clean as and in the same area. So with this, I just take my finger and I blend. Now for my contour, I use black opal stick foundation. This thing has gotten broken and just, you see this? Like little pieces of, like a little bit like this and it's really darker than my skin. But that's the whole purpose of contouring. To make those cheekbones stand out in the chiseled face, you know? My face is very round, but when I get done, Best believe. Okay, but for real. It's gonna make me look like I have a chiseled jaw. Well, not really, but chiseled cheek. Well, my battery died. Um, luckily I have two. I apply the black opal and I have applied Ben Nye. Ben Nye the science the science guy. Guy. My Ben Nye powder in Topaz. And all I took was this and my beauty blender and I dabbed it inside and I applied it to my face. 
all along here and then I went underneath the contour so that it can make it pop. Now I'm about to set the foundation that I used to contour with with the CoverGirl Natural Hue Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. This is how it looks and it's the darkest shade that they have. I'm going to use this Real Technique contour brush. Swirl it around and apply it. I usually take this Rich Java. This is Milani. This is a very old shadow that I have. And it's in Rich Java, but it's extremely dark. But I put it here at the base, like the front of my contour. So that way it won't be so dark down here. It's weird. So here is where it needs to pop. Now this is done baking, I'm going to brush it off. Now when you're contouring, it's important to make a three on your face. This is the front of the three, like around your hairline area. Here and down here. My cousin always told me that I did my makeup very well, but I never made my eyes pop enough. Today I'm going to use um, my Maybelline Big Eyes, the Fossey Big Eyes. It has two ends. This is for upper, and this is for lower. Hold on, I'm going to have to get real close to this mirror to put these lower lashes on. Bear with me. Oh. <sighs> Okay, that was a task. That was a real task. My bottom lashes are not long either, so it makes it very difficult for me to use that little one because there's not enough product to cover the little the little one. So at times I have to switch over to the big one and like carefully go over my bottom lashes. I've even hit my I don't know. But yes. So last but not least, um this tart. There's a tart bronzer that I got in my Ipsy bag. This is my favorite. I could go with no foundation on and put this on. It's amazing and I love it. It's not too shimmery. Um, but it's by Tarte and they sell it at Ulta or on their website. Color Park Ave Princess. This Elf Complexion Brush. Like the finished look that I'll go with. Sometimes I put on lipstick, sometimes I don't. I'll put on like a little bit of uh, coconut oil on my lips or chapstick that I have and I go on about my day. It's a soft glow. And that's pretty much it. That's all I really need. Like I said, I love this house. This bronzer is giving me life. <laughs> it is giving me life. But yeah, so this is about it. But if you do want a lip, this is an auto lip liner from Ruby Kisses. It's for so. And then I'll apply um, Beeper by ColourPop. video next um with all of my color pops it shall be fun i have so many color pop all dramatic pieces so if you want to see me swatch these please stay tuned um comment or subscribe and i'll see y'all the next video thank you bye